people in other countries are using our system, our banking system, to rob U.S. citizens. They are victims of an email scam sweeping the country. It cost them $200,000. That's a big hunk of our retirement gone. Carol Levin Investigates has uncovered new information about how it could happen to you. This is what brought us to Minneapolis. Two years ago, we reported how Steve and Claudia Tadovich had moved to the Twin Cities to be closer to their grandkids. We get to see band concerts, we get to see sporting events. It's really been a blessing. After renting at first, they were just days away from closing on this townhome. This is the email that came from Courtney. It looked like it was from Courtney Pennington at Edgewater Title, the company handling the sale. And attached is the buyer's closing statement. With accurate details about their real estate closing. And the numbers look right. And with it, instructions about how to make the final payment. Not by an old fashioned check, but by a modern bank to bank wire transfer. This is the account number. That had been sent before the scheduled closing. Thought it was gonna be so simple and it turned out to be a nightmare, really. They trusted the email, followed the instructions, and showed up at Edgewater Title for the closing. We're sitting in the, a little room with the sellers and the closing person goes to go check on the check and she's gone and she's not coming back and she's not coming back and she's not coming back. And she finally comes back to the room and says she's not finding it. Turns out this email and these wiring instructions were fake. Instead of sending their money to the title company's account at Venture Bank, the money had been wired to the Crooks account at Bank of America and from there, immediately transferred again. By then it was, the money was gone. How did it happen? Someone apparently hacked into the email chain, inserting those fake instructions. Authorities still haven't gotten to the bottom of that, but they have caught a middleman, a so-called money mule, who is part of the scam. Authorities charged and convicted this California woman, Ling Zhao, with theft by swindle. She owned the American bank accounts where the money was wired. According to court records, she admitted transferring much of the money overseas, but she denied knowing the money had been obtained by swindle, claiming she had been tricked too. She was the link, again, between these scams in the United States and somebody overseas that was spearheading the whole movement. As and authorities try to follow those leads, Steve Tadovich has a warning for the rest of us. If you get wiring instructions to wire X amount of money any place, call the person that sent that and find out if this is what they sent. With today's technology, real looking emails are easy to fake and so are phone calls that look and sound like they're coming from a real business. So the best advice? Check it out by calling the number for the business you already have, not the one on the email they send you. Do not trust the emails for one second. Always verify. Authorities have been able to recover some of the money from Ling Zhao, but as for the rest of the 200,000, there's little hope. It's gone, gone in a keystroke. For Carol Levin Investigates, I'm AJ Legault. That is heartbreaking. If you have something you'd like our IT team to look into, shoot us an email at investigations at care11.com.